Hey everybody, Teresa here. So um, today is all about cheek color. So, um, and cheek color and also the placement of your cheek color. So I'm going to speak to my more mature friends out there. The where we place our cheek color will really make a difference in your face. So again, as we age, we um, just have to place things differently. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But first of all, I want to talk about cheek color. So I get a quest I get questions a lot about what cheek color is right for me. So I'm just going to give you this really simple tip. If you pinch your cheeks, the natural color that comes up is the cheek color that you should wear. Okay, so that's an easy way to find it. I will tell you that as you mature, a little bit of a peachy undertone is not a bad thing, okay, because that warms the skin. So I'm going to show you my palette. It's very dirty. It's very used. You can see that. I use what's called a blush brick. So I have all four of these colors. And sometimes I can go just really with the pinks, and sometimes I can go with the... Um, the more corally colors. So today we're going to actually use all of them because I like them all together. So what you do is the tools that you need. First of all, our cheek brush is phenomenal. You can see it is an angled cheek brush, so it just sits right on your cheek. So before I actually do it, let me tell you how to place your cheek color. First of all, you don't want to go too close to your nose. So if you put your fingers right here and you can see, this is where you'll want to put the cheek color. Okay, for us more mature people, we don't want to go too low because that sort of like drags our face down. So we want to go right on top of our cheekbone right here. Okay, now here's the deal though. You can't get too close to like your eye area with the wrinkles around the crow's feet around your eye. We don't want that. So the happy medium is right there on the cheekbone and up staying away from the crow's feet. If we go down too far, it just makes our needle lift. So that's why we do it there. Okay, so let me share with you what I do. I take my cheek brush and I just go zip the whole way down and I have color. I always start light and then add, okay? So I didn't pick up too much color, so we are good. So I'm gonna stick the cheek color right here. Okay, it's two fingers away from my nose and then I'm gonna go up my cheek. OK, and you can see I'm not going like that. I'm literally just sort of rubbing it just like that. OK, cheek color makes such a difference. You can see already the difference between the both sides. So just making sure I have enough. And I'm good. I don't like a really bold cheek color, so I always start light. So I'm going to zip right down the line again, <laughs> make sure I didn't pick up too much and do the same thing on the other side. Just starting right here and then going up, making sure or it's not too close to my eye and not too far down, okay? So I think that side I can pick up a little more. I didn't put enough on, and I do the same thing. And the nice thing is, is that because of the angle of the cheek brush, it just, it just sits right on your cheekbone. Okay, now let's say you did a little bit too much. No problem. <laughs> I always have my big fat, fat powder brush ready, and if I need to blend it out a little bit, I just blend and I just blend. And really, that is as simple as or as cheeks can be. It's really important to do your cheeks. I think a lot of us skip that step. And I really do believe it's important to do your cheeks, especially for more mature skin. It just finishes your look and the placement of the color lifts your whole look. So I hope that was helpful information for you. Um, cheeks are important and the placement of them are even more important, especially if you're of the more mature age. All right, everyone, enjoy your day and I will talk to you later.